Distinguished members of the Wayne Embry Fellowship Panel, I want to thank you today for viewing my video. My name is Tim Roach, and in terms of the five Ps, for perseverance, five years ago I was told not to become a teaching by my teaching supervisor, and I'm happy to say for five years I was an effective teacher at my little school in Nova Scotia, and the staff and students were sad to see me leave in order to pursue my dreams here in Toronto. In terms of persistence, I was told five years ago not to coach my high school boys basketball team due to their behaviors. I demand commitment and I demanded accountability from them. A commitment to attend practices if they want to play in the games and they had to be accountable for their behavior in the classroom, at practice, and during games if they want to remain on the team. I'm happy to say that we had a successful year and we ended up finishing third place in provincials. In terms of preparation, I was an assistant university basketball coach for two years at Acadia University for the women's varsity program. And part of my responsibility was to view game tape um, on the opposing team we were about to play and study up on their top two or three players. I had to communicate with our coaching staff and with our players on their habits. If they like to go right, if they like to go left, if they were comfortable shooting the three, if they were not comfortable shooting the three. And I also had to communicate any defensive transition sets, offensive transition sets that the other team tried to execute. In terms of passion, I have been a Toronto Raptors fan ever since 1998 when I saw Vince Carter play in his first game in the Boston Gardens, and I've been hooked ever since. In terms of pride, I took pride in teaching and it allowed me to be a high school basketball coach. When I was a university student, I got to be a university basketball coach. I took great pride in it because I love basketball. And I will take great pride in this job because I love basketball. Thank you.